Ladies and gentlemen, vote number seven is a welterweight contest of three two rounds between in the red corner representing Western Superman and Costa Ashley Holder. And in the blue corner representing Carl Sabatwashita Sterling Hall. Hall in the blue, Holder in the red. So with the welterweights for this one, Ashley Holder from Western Supermare for in the redhead guard and in the blue, Sterling Hall from Carl's Amateur Boxing Club and it's uh, the southpaw stance of Ashley Holder. That sees him uh, up on his toes looking to, I was going to say dominate the centre of the ring but Sterling Hall is there at the moment but across goes Ashley Holder on the first meaningful attack of the contest. What do you know about these two then, Craig? Well, we know that uh, Ashley is a diamond driller, West Supermare, 21 years old. Didn't know there many diamonds there? Well, well there's muck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we know that uh, Sterling is a Lance Corporal, a 2-9 command over all artillery. He's an Afghanistan veteran, seven bouts, one in four. Okay, so that's the background for the two. <coughs> Who can dominate this contest? At the moment, it's uh, Sterling Hall on the forward offensive, so to speak, throwing out the jab, looking to find the range to the Western Supermare boy and then lands the right to the stomach. Back comes Ashley Holder. Both boys bouncing away on, the, on their toes, looking to keep mobile, keep moving. Present the uh, only a fleeting target to their opponent. Not a lot being landed just at the moment, Craig. Still pretty cagey. That's right, still fencing for the opening. Lots of movement, nice fast boxing, good pace. Uh, moment southpaw stance maybe again you, you never get a too much of a tidy bout with a southpaw no. involved awkward is the uh, phrase right. isn't it yeah but uh so i want to play but honors even yeah so not a lot landed not a lot scored in that first round you suspect so uh, some decent advice coming from the respective corners i'm sure and uh Ashley Holder over in that red corner. Just listening intently. Needs to find where to get those scoring shots. Likewise across the, the ring in the blue. Sterling Hall. Listening intently. Can he work out the southpaw stance in the second round here at the Grand Hotel in Bristol? If you're watching on the internet via the uh, Bristol Sporting Club website, that's bristolsporting.com. And here we go, round number two. So, Sterling Hall in the blue head guard. Again, both boys looking busy, but not a lot landed so far. Holder, maybe slightly more aggressive feeling in this uh, second session. A good left hand just rocks his man back and trying to make the most of it now. Just head down. Rather bullet a gate there uh, once he'd landed a shot. Didn't really make the most of the advantage he'd made for himself. That's right. Unfortunate there. He caught him with a good shot but then fell in on his work. And uh, if he could have uh, tried to maintain the space there and get another shot in. But a good quality shot. Well taken. And uh, back we go. Yep, so first sort of significant breakthrough of the, uh, of the contest, that shot from Ashley Holder. It is only one, though, and again, it goes back to being a bit untidy. Referee Ken Bray calls break, and this time it's Holder who turns nicely and sends Hall into the ropes. Back in the centre of the ring once more. Holder again. Springs forward, 
And staggers Sterling Hall. Not completely clean shot, I don't think, but he certainly caught him off balance. Just beginning to uh, upset the rhythm of the Carl's Boxing Stable boxer. The army boy, and that's a good firm body shot that uh, certainly made impact there. It's a quality shot from the southpaw stance. The uh, big there, straight left, and then right hook to the, uh, to the chin. Again, it's all on the wrong side to the novice boxer who's not boxed a, a southpaw before. And um, as I say, it's a mix of, of being off balance and, and being clipped at the same time. Yeah. It makes for quite an awkward, uh, awkward evening's work. Yeah, certainly does. So not the, uh, not the tidiest of contests that we've seen here this evening, but plenty of hard work from both boys. Looking to uh, get the nod from the judges after the third round. Breathing deeply, taking in the advice of their respective cornermen. And a learning process all the while for them. And they'll be, uh, they'll be all the better for the experience of tonight, won't they? No matter how good or uh, poor a spectacle the, the contest proves to be. That's right. You know, it's, it's all on the day, Nigel, as it is with every sport, isn't it? And, but amateur boxing being a short duration sport, it needs to be done on a regular basis, you know, so you can up your game, improve from the last performance and raise the bar. Yeah. So looking to raise the bar at round three, off their stalls, and eager and ready for action. There's the belt. What will unfold in the next two minutes? Both have been told to make a fast start by the look of it, and both trying to oblige. Holder ducks under the lead of Sterling Hall and again being just told to keep his head up that's what's making it a little bit untidy but, uh, again Holder advances forward doesn't really profit from it but left hand a potent weapon once more and Hall would be well to take a lot of attention of it Hall getting through a lot of uh, positional work without landing too much and then gets caught on his way in by Holder. So a, lot of, a lot of effort around the ring going in for Sterling Hall but not an awful lot of result from it. That's right. I like the way he's boxing though, Noise. He's very loose, got some class about him. Um, again, a comparative novice really. Um, but uh, like I say, very, very much a, a lot of scope for improvement there. Yeah. The uh, tight stance of Ashley Holder and then a big left hook swing that uh, doesn't make contact. Hall again just uh, battering off the charge of Holder, catching him as the man came in uh, on him. Trying to launch one of his own but uh, again Holder just ducks underneath the punch. And Holder holding on again and stumbling into the ropes. Quickly called a break. And they'll need to be separated once more. And there's the belt to end it. Hugs all round. And uh, Holder just wobbling about on his feet. I think he put an awful lot of effort into that. Definitely. Uh, there's a little bit of a... A little bit of a wobble there, wasn't there? But um, I say, good spirited contest. Not the cleanest thing you've ever seen in your life. No, you haven't said that this level, you know, is a great learning experience for both guys. Yep, certainly is. And we'll wait now for the official announcement to see how the judges scored it. Thank you, gentlemen. The result of bout number seven, majority decision, holder in the red corner.